Senora and Senoritas, Buenvenido to the greatest event in the history of Tijuana, the Baja in the world. Welcome to the Battle for Baja. And now, join with me to greet the most ferocious vehicles ever assembled for our road race. He looks like the son of a president. No, no, no. He looks like a race driver. Tijuana to Cabo San Lucas. Such a long drive down the Baja Desert. Such a tortuous drive for a boy. Boy? What? The? That is the son of El Presidente. Well, for us, old buddy, this ought to settle it once and for all. I thought Bulldogs settle matter during Demolition Derby. You and I both know that was a mission, and I pretended to let you beat Wildcat. Then no excuses this time. This is it, you Russian bear. With El Presidente's son driving Goliath, neither one of us may win. You can thank Matt Tracker for lending it to him. President Vega pulled some strings to allow us to enter the race late. I guess he convinced Matt to return the favor. Doesn't look like much here in the way of competition. We're not here for the race, Maxie. We don't want them to know that, brother. What are you doing here, Miles? The same thing you are, Hawks. My brother and I came to race. And from what I can see, there doesn't look like much in the way of competition. Easy, Boris. If they're here, they must have wrangled an invitation somehow. We don't want to start an international incident. Just stay out of our way, boys, unless you want to end up spread all over the desert. Easy, big guy. Save it for the race. The rules are simple. The first vehicle to cross the finish line at Cabo San Lucas is declared the winner. While on park the race course, good luck to all. Looks like the mayhems are finished before they even got started. Crushing an opponent is more fun when you spring out the torture. I've got so much to learn. Talk about your torture tracks. What do you think, Wildcat? Take it? Yeah, baby. That's what I thought. Got to remember to stay within the pylon. I don't want to give Boris any excuses. Speaking of Boris, I wonder where he. Right here, Klotsky. What the? Hey, watch that stuff, Bushkin. Watch what stuff? Track announcers say there are no rules. He's like government in my homeland. Make up rules as you go along. <laughs> You're just a laugh a minute, Boris. Let hawks drive trucks for 10 years in Siberia like Boris, and then think about challenging Pushkin in race. This is what Boris likes. No one even in sight. Too bad you don't have the brains to keep your eye on the road, instead of the mirror, Pushkin! Huh? Bugshot on! You think your sad little bicycle can beat Bulldog simply because she has her paw? Come, Malloy, find out! Oh, <laughs> my 
Maybe Pushkin's right about that. Better get airborne. He may be strong on the ground, but with vampire in the air... There's no way that that sick puppy can survive! And now to put Pushkin and Bulldog out of business! Then I'm a blade he won't hold forever, Pushkin! And you can't move fast enough to get up a shot! You're sunk, mister! But I'm not, Malloy! I owe you one, Klutzki. That's nothing. Wait till you see my bill for changing that tire. Mission completed, Miles. Diversionary tactic accomplished. Hawks and Pushkin both spotted. Good. They thought that was our primary attack. With those two out of the way, we can get down to our real business. My father will be so proud when I win this race. And nothing can stop me from... Mayday! Mayday! Request assistance! Urgent! This is Raul Vega in Goliath. Received your transmission. What is the nature of your emergency? Over. I have a severely injured man on board. Needs immediate medical attention. Over. You're in luck. I was a medic in the Mexican army. I'm on my way. We are in luck. This race is important, but not as important as a man's life. That's right, little Chihuahua. Just a little closer. A little closer and now! Matt Tracker was right about this. Okay, now if I can just remember what he showed me. Fire, Maxi! Firing Malphite! Uh. Ah. <laughs> Bulldog! Bring your guns to bear on that meddling Russian, Maxi! No problem, Raul. Forrest will keep Miles Mayhem busy and we'll have you out of here in a second. Enough of this! Flexer, on! Blast, Mass! You stopped in, Chief. I could use a hand. You sure can, Boris. Now we're rolling. This race is mine. Party time! What else can delay me today? Running attack program, sighting target, lock on target, and firing slicer cannon. Ah! He's all ours! We can name our price in ransom! Mayhem to Iguana. Stay behind and keep Bulldog and Wildcat off our backs, Lester. Just buy us enough time to get to the coast. My pleasure, boss. Iguana's in her own element out here. Those guys won't stand a chance. 
I wonder just how much the son of El Presidente is worth to the Mexican government. Miles, we're about to find out. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. Welcome to Iguana's Turf. Help yourself to some Baja Sludge. <laughs> you see, guys? Big ain't always better. Stay in one place, Blizzard. Bad chance. <laughs> Just too fast to catch. Maybe for you guys. But not for me. Vortex You boys get going after me, him. I'll take care of this desert track. I guess it really pays to pick up someone your own size. Right. Let's go do the same. Mayhem enough time. I'm getting out of here. Your hunch was right, Clutch. Goliath's here, but no sign of Raoul. I've got him stopped, Clutch. Good job, Boris. We were smart to split up and search for him. I'm on my way. I hope there will only be cleanup work by the time you get here. Comrade on. Oh, all right, Wisdom. If you want to fight, then a fight you'll get. I'm weary of this, Pushkin. Pack your vehicle off. Huh, just because you say so? Because I say so, and because I've got President Vega's son as a hostage. Now do as I say, or you'll be responsible for what happens to Vega. I thought you two wanted a fair fight. Just a fight, Pushkin. Not a fair one. There wasn't anything I could do with Raoul as his prisoner. Perhaps we should call the authorities. No, we'd still be in the same predicament, placing Raoul's life in jeopardy. Mayhem broken off from the race. That's for sure. He's probably making for the coast. To transfer Raoul to a Venom ship, no doubt. We'll give chase. But your vehicle's the fastest, Ali. Can you scout ahead and confirm Mayhem's plan? I am on my way. There he is, guys. Just as we suspected. Once we get him on the ship, we'll be home free, Maxie. We can write our own ticket. What's that? Isn't that Bulldog? Yes. And she's a sitting duck. The trap! I can see that, Maximus. The Dressonium Disruptor will rule out mayhem calling for reinforcements. Fire! No way to reach Iguana. That's all right. I can handle this fight myself. No, no! I didn't order conversion to attack mode! No! No! 
Now to finish this race in first place. No way you're going to win this race, Pushkin. There's no way any of them is going to win this race, or finish it for that matter. I'm just not sure you're ready to drive yet, Senor Vega. Don't misunderstand, Ali. I'm grateful to you in Nevada and all of your friends, but I've got to finish this race. I'm going to win it. It's, it's something I want to do for my father. You are right, Ali. He is a strong-willed young man. But perhaps trying to prove courage to one's father is something to be strong-willed about. This one is, as they say, in their pocket. No sense taking chances, though. With this much of lead, I can stop and fill up my tank at Force's pit stop. Negative, Forrest. Negative. That pit stop catapult. It's a venom trap. Too late. Good work, Sly. I'd stop, but I've got bigger fish to fry. By making our own route, we should catch them just as they enter the city, Maxie. I just love breaking the rules, Miles. Look, there they are. You're right again, Miles. I'm always right, Maxie. I thought you'd have learned that by now. difficult for me to win this race. Let me get an angle clutch. Concrete cannon, fire! Now to win this race! We'll get them yet, Maxine! Greater than yours. I guess you're right. Come, my friend. I'd like to introduce you both to my father, El Presidente. Under the doorway. That way, nothing can fall on you. Hey, Birdman, where's Bruno? You call? Bruno, didn't you feel that earthquake? How could I feel anything? I was too busy jumping rope. <laughs> 